EDA Reflexer and Beast here, and I'm here, and I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial for Photoshop. Um, I've had like a message, I got a message earlier saying, how did I do that thing at the top of my uh, channel, um, YouTube channel, so it went from like right there to there, and it was like green with an outline of black, so I got one of the messages uh, saying, how did I do that, so I decided just, why not make a video on it, so pretty much what you want to do, you can do this on any size you want, um, excuse me, so, you, uh, click one with, this is all with the pen, by the way, and you hit one side, and you, while you're holding shift, hit the other side, click on the other side, and make sure this is white, the first color is white, so, make sure you have that, right click, you go to stroke path, brush, stimulate pressure, and there you go, you got that now. I believe this has to be at around 6, depending on whatever you want it to be. I mean, it doesn't have to be at 6. You can be at 4, but make sure it's low, because then this line will be huge, and you don't want that. So, anyways, oh, actually, I made a really bad mistake. Right. So, you want to have a background, right? And now, you want to hit this button to make a new layer. Now, on this layer, that's when you do it. Sorry. You hit one side, shift, other side, right-click. Stroke path, okay. Then you want to delete the path, so now it's just that line. And this, you can actually like put a little circle in there, like uh, it can be like a little flare. Your name could be on it. Like it's actually, you do a lot of things with this. So now what you do is you go to filter, liquify. Once you have liquify on, I'm going to be doing. You want this to be at about. Yeah, let's say 50%, so I'm just going to do, type it in, 50%. Okay, so now you're just going to go like this, and make little waves. Oops. I'm going to cancel that. I don't know why it's not showing for me right now, but anyways. Filter, liquify. So for you, this should be showing it like, or like wavy, I guess. So you're going to hit OK. It's going to load it. And then you can see it's like a squiggly line. Now, so right click, duplicate layer. Uh, you're going to hit OK. And you're going to hit, you're going to hit the, uh, the highest key up here, Control T. This is going to come up with a box. So now you can pretty much change it to whatever you want to be. So I'm just going to change it. I'm just going to flip it over. Try to make it a little bit more level. Apply the transformation. You're going to shift. So you have both of these layers now. And then you're going to uh, merge the layers. So now they're just one layer basically. So now what you want to do is you want to make it green basically. And all these different types of colors. Whatever you want to color. Uh, so I'm just going to do red in this case um, so right click it uh, you got a blending options once your blending options you can hit you want to hit color overlay and that makes it so it's red now so now it's, it's red you can leave it like that if you want to but for my background I also put where is it uh, I believe not pattern overlay stroke so now you have a stroke on it or you have like the little outline. You can make it so it's a hundred. You can make it so it's one. You can make it two. But I think I left it at three because that's what you get originally. Uh, you can put it any color you want. Actually, um, in this case I'll put it as green. Let's say so, just to sh like really show that that's there. So you can have a green. You can have it being. I mean, you can just keep it at red if you want to, uh, but I'm going to keep it as black. So, do that, and then you pretty much just take, you can do whatever you want with it, really. I mean, I made it from, like, on the actual thing, so I just, you can delete the background. And so now you just have this, and you just put it at the top, and you can put, like, if you want to, you just put your name. Yeah, this channel is going to be on the 2020 Gamers. 
So you can do that if you want to. www.youtube.com dot uh, com slash twenty twenty gamers. You can just do that, and you can put it right here if you want to. Um, I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want with this. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I put it on green and like just put it at the top of my channel. And if you're from my channel, because I'm probably going to upload this on both my channel, my main channel, EA Reflex, and I'm going to upload it on the 2020 Gamers. So, um, if you want to go see that channel, uh, make sure to look in the description down below. I'm going to have my channel, uh, or both the network, and I'm going to have this channel. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm the main channel I'm going to be uploading this on is going to be the 2020 Gamers. The secondary channel I'm going to be uploading on the like this video on is my main channel, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, this this is like a really simple thing to do, but it actually looks pretty cool. I wasn't expecting it to look actually that nice on the top of my background, but uh, yeah, it was pretty effective. So, yeah, and you can also change it so it goes like that in the background. You can see the green. You can make it so it goes loopy, really like really strong loops, and I'll show you how to do that really fast. Um, where is it, uh, make a white dot, go boom, boom, right click it, stroke path, you can just hit enter, right click it again, uh, hit, oh, you actually want to make it a different layer, that's another thing, uh, if you're making one of these, you just want to make sure it's another layer, Oops, that's a group, not a layer. There we go. So, on this layer, you're going to do it. Boop, boop. Right-click, stroke, path, enter. You're going to right-click it again. Delete the path. Filter. Uh, liquify. And then, you want to make sure the brush size, bleh, brush size is at 100. And you pretty much just go zigzag everywhere. Like, I mean, you just zigzag and everything like that so fix my little headset here and uh... it'll load it and then i'll put it in black i probably should have put it black first place anyways so you can make that i'm going to blending options uh... color overlay I'm put it in black and hit ok so you can see it probably a little bit um, you got this thing on so it's pretty much how you and then next tutorial I'm actually gonna teach you how to do this how you make it the flames uh, and then I'm just combining everything and uh, this is my home screen background that I made so uh, that's what you like you just pretty much made if you're following along the tutorial you can make the thing in the background and then next tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to do flame lettering so if you want to see that uh, leave a like on this video and uh, leave a comment so yeah that's pretty much it um pretty simple tutorial uh, I mean if it was hard to follow along make sure to leave a comment saying hey it was hard to follow along can you like go a little bit slower so yeah that's pretty much it I'm using Camtasia to film this by the way so yeah, that's pretty much it I'll see you guys later peace